Hi everybody, today I thought I'd do a comparison between the Zealot S32 Pro and the Zealot S49 Super Bass. The specifications for these speakers are virtually identical. They both support Bluetooth 5.2. They both have a 57 millimeter driver with a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and a signal to noise ratio of greater than or equal to 85 decibels. They both have a Bluetooth transmission range of 10 meters. They both support three and a half millimeter input, uh, TF card slot, uh, thumb drive slot, and they both have a 12 hour battery. So what's different? This is the S32 Pro. As you can see, it is half an inch shorter than the S49 Super Bass. And they both have four buttons, but the buttons do different things. For example, the power button on the S32 Pro also chooses the mode. The <laughs> To choose the mode on the S49 Super Bass, you have to pick the mode button. And the mode button also activates the true wireless stereo mode, whereas on the S32 Pro, there is a dedicated button for that feature. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that I am not a fan of long press, short press. And for the most part, the Zealot avoids that paradigm, except for powering down, which does require a long press. Instead, they have implemented a system of single press, double press. The single press controls volume up and down, and the double press controls track selection next or previous. And I think that's a superior system that I haven't made any mistakes with yet. The S32 Pro is slightly wider than the S49 Super Bass. I don't know why. They both have the same size speaker within, and they both have a passive radiator on top to help with bass. On the bottom of the speakers, we have a more significant difference. On the S32 Pro, we simply have a rubberized platform, whereas on the S49 Super Bass, we have a second passive radiator featuring an offset stand that offers unobstructed airway access to the speaker if you have it sitting on a surface. Despite having an offset stand on the S49 Super Bass, I think the speaker sounds best when it's suspended in midair. And they give you one of these things to install in here. I just couldn't figure out how to do it. but So I, I just held it in the air and it sounded better than if I had it sitting on the table. Despite the name S49 Super Bass, I think the S32 Pro has a slightly deeper, richer bass sound. It's very nuanced and I wouldn't make that the only criteria when selecting between these two speakers. And honestly, neither one of them have a tremendous amount of bass. It, but it sounds fine for a speaker of this class. If the two speakers are virtually identical, how do you choose between them? Well, the S49 Super Bass does have two features you will not find on the S32 Pro. First of all, it is IP67 waterproof, kind of. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And secondly, it has an FM radio. If you want either of those features, this is the only place you can find it. The S49 Super Bass claims to be IP67 waterproof, and anybody who makes that claim is going to get the sink test, which means I fill a sink with water and I throw the speaker in. And when I did that, the speaker floated on the surface and continued to operate normally, and it seemed like it would do so indefinitely. However, that is not what IP67 means. If you're IP67 certified, that means you can submerge the speaker at a depth of three feet for up to 30 minutes. And when I submerged the speaker, it started acting erratically after only about five minutes or so. It would skip tracks or drop Bluetooth, things like that. So take their IP67 waterproof claims with a grain of salt and act accordingly. If I had to choose between these two speakers, which one would I pick? Well, if you don't care about the waterproof feature of the S49 Super Bass or the FM radio, then I would choose the S32 Pro simply because it sounds slightly better and it's smaller and lighter. But honestly, both of these are fine choices and you really can't make a mistake. Oh, before I go, I wanted to highlight one of the best examples of tiny manuals I have ever seen in a product. And both of these speakers have it. Normally when you get a manual like this, it has a font that you cannot read, but this one uses a large font that is easy to read. And most of the information is conveyed by illustrations. You don't even need the reading. This is just a delight. I'm I'm so happy with you, Zealot. <laughs> this is, after after months of abuse, I'm I'm glad that I finally have. This is what other companies need to do.
Good job, Zealot, and thanks for stopping by. Hi, everybody. I am coming up on my 100th Boxes Upon Boxes review. Can you believe it? And I wanted to celebrate by having a subscriber appreciation event where you can win one of the products I review it on this channel. I'm still working out the details, but I just wanted to give you a heads up so you can hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on the big event. Thanks for stopping by.